I'm at the Long Island CW booth on the heels of talking about, you know, potential disabled hands and how they can get more active. They came up with a really cool device. It's a haptic CW device for giving you little taps instead of having to hear or see the CW. Let's take a look. I'm talking to Bob with the Long Island CW Club and he has made quite the novel device. What do you call this? Um, it's the Long Island CW Haptic Assist. Okay. Okay, the device, um, I do the manufacturing of the device, volunteer. All right. Uh, sure. Okay. The club is actually selling them. Uh, they're 275 that includes priority mail delivery within the uh, USPS priority mail uh, region. Okay. So, Cottonella, US, Hawaii, Alaska, all those sorts of places. Sure. The notion was that, well, actually, there was a project ongoing in LACW before I became aware of it. There are members in the club with various uh, challenges to learn CW or operating CW. Sure. Hearing is one of the common ones. My hearing aids are in here. I can still hear well enough. Right. That day may not last forever. Right. Anyway, we got folks who've lost the ability to operate. Okay. Yeah. And the notion was, look, let's build some sort of a haptic assist device give them an aid that will get them back on the air or make it possible for them to stay I love on it. the air or learn CW in the first place. I love it, yeah. That was the motivation. Um, I heard about the park, and I came in, and I sort of ran with it. Uh, it sounds like it, because here we have So here we have the, the unit. assist device. So you, I saw the lights, but yeah. then obviously this thing is intriguing. What is this? Okay, so in the home theater market, they sell devices which are fundamentally speakers, but they're designed for very low frequency. Uh huh. And when you sit in your home theater and you feel the rumble in it's your the seat, rumble box. it's going to be the rumble speaker. No way. So okay. this will just, it vibrates. It vibrates. And I'll turn it on. Okay. There are a couple of controls over here, which are the frequency and intensity of the vibration. Oh, okay. I was having a hard time discerning from the dits and daws, but then yeah. you started playing with it, and I can, I can totally. Oh, right there. Whoa. Okay. And what I tuned it's for. It's like going up my hand. Yeah, and I tuned for it to couple into the table. So I'm now feeling the table vibrate. Oh. And if I stick my hand on this way, I'll see that light. Wow, that's If I stick cool. my hand on this way, I'll see that light. You know, one way or another, you're going to see a light. If you don't like the lights, our light dimming device is a piece of electrical tape. It's high tech. It's high tech. I high mean, tech electrical tape. That's so super cool. The question came up the other day, well, what about firmware updates? There's no software in here. Okay. Electraft, okay. Yeah. Flex. Yeah, uh, it's just audio. Icon, it's just in. Audio in. Audio in. Then these two controls. The notion is there's a front end integrated circuit, uh -huh. which acts as a very narrow band audio filter. Okay. Okay, so it finds the tone that we've selected. One of these controls is the tone that it's listening for. And then there's the sensitivity. Okay? Yeah. How much gain does it need to bring it to a level where it can detect and make sure you're tuned on the frequency? Yeah. I didn't put any software in there. Electraft, Flex, EASU, Kent, they're all better at that than I'm ever Sure. Doing. And why yeah. do I want to duplicate But why, why do you need to? You don't need to. It's you don't need to. But you may need to. Again, okay. If you're listening to a signal with perfect hearing, there are some signals where you got to work pretty hard to hear it. Especially okay. when I was learning to copy CW, sure. I used okay. the radio filters to you know, peak its oil. Oh, almost stuff. like you're talking about DSP yes. for a haptic system. And if you need the DSP, this can't hear any better. Well, actually, I can hear a lot better than this can. My ear has become a much more effective CW filter. I can ignore a lot of that noise and get the signal that I want. Oh, like. I see. So you're almost you're almost dictated on how well your filtering is and your rejection well, on ear, your radio. I've got a your lot ear. Of, I've got but a lot this of brain wear. Right, 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 this right. This device doesn't have the brain wear, so I rely on the radio. So for that front tighter filtering, tighter filtering, rejection heat aside. Band, yes. Okay, all those things. Okay. okay. This is just hardware. Just hardware. No firmware updates. Yeah. But again, it's a good filter. Yeah. Right? And then the radio helps. I love Other that. Other things you can do with it. Um, this has the notion of being tuned to a frequency. Okay, when I key my radio, it's set for a particular tone, 450 hertz for my side tone. Mm -hmm. I can key, not transmit, but key, get a tone, tune this to the 450 hertz. 
then when I'm tuning across the band, um, I can zero beat somebody, tune them to the 450 right, big knob. Right, with the big knob. And now I'm zero beat on them. So, so you can use that to zero beat. To zero beat. Wow. And then once you're zero beat, then you can use it to pop. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can. It's so, a different mind. You gotta. You have to. It's a tool. Like it's a. It's a set of. Um, what am I thinking of? It's like an instrument that you have to tune up. You gotta learn. It. Right. And there is a learning curve. When I was playing with it initially, as I said, my hearing still works pretty damn well. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it works pretty damn well. I love my new hearing aids. Yeah. But. I basically gave myself the challenge of copying just just the code, uh -huh. without the auto, just the vibration, okay. or just the light. Okay. And I found that with some practice, I could, using material where I knew what was coming along, um, I could, I think that was a B and I can be able to confirm it. Mm -hmm. So I found with the LEDs alone, I got about that much comprehension. Like, you know, 30, 40%, somewhere. Yeah. With the haptic alone, it brought it up to about there. And with a half began LEDs, I got you that got you extra fleshed it out. Code. Yeah. So we've got some people who are deeply impaired for their hearing. Yeah. We've got an operator who used to be a retired policeman. He's a retired policeman now. He used to operate in his patrol car. This guy was on the air all the time. Yeah. And very very good. Yeah. He can't operate anymore. This has got him back on the air. Wow. We've got another operator where this is an assist. She can work without it. Uh -huh. It makes it easier. She can work some people that she couldn't hear otherwise. She can relax more with conversations that were, you know, within range of her hearing, but she had to work pretty hard for it. It makes it easier. Wow. She uses it to monitor her sound. That. So we've got a range of folks. One well, very, very high. It's, a, it's an added tool. It's, it's an added it's a, tool. Yeah, great. And it well, takes some learning. I got to congratulate you. This is this is quite an accomplishment. This is super cool. Yeah, yeah I really love it. Thank you for sharing this, Bob. You're very welcome. Where does someone find out more about this? Um, LongIslandCWClub.org. There is a pull down for various um, assists for people with vision or hearing or whatever. Yeah. Uh, for hearing assist, this device is there. There are some testimonials from a bunch of our early users. There's a video. That same video, LSEW Haptic on YouTube, you'll find it. Excellent. I uh, can't wait to share this with everybody. I think this is a great thing you've yep. done. Good job. Info at LSEW.org to purchase. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Appreciate you sharing this with us. Thank you. Thank you.